Turnef Atoll is the largest and most productive fishery in the Mesoamerican Reef and the largest marine reserve in Belize. Turnef Atoll was a place where pirates operated in the 18th century, including the legendary Blackbeard. Sadly, piracy still exists here, but today's pirates use nets, spear guns, and gill nets to illegally harvest dwindling fish populations. With over 300 licensed fishing boats, sports fishing, and diving operators, Turnef Atoll is highly impacted and requires daily protection, management, and enforcement of national regulations to bring back the depleted reef and atoll fisheries for future generations. Threats include overfishing, illegal fishing, unmanaged tourism, wildlife poaching of turtles, sharks, and other reef creatures, and of course, climate change. Major areas of the Ternaf Atoll are struggling to maintain critical fish populations that are essential to scuba diving, sport fishing, and ecotourism industries. The Ternaf Atoll Sustainability Association, or TASA, was given national level enforcement responsibility in 2013, and with the support of funders like Global Conservation, has begun to build a powerful model for sustainable fishing, sport fishing, and scuba diving in the reserve. Valdemar Andrade is the executive director of TASA. Marine areas like these deliver economic resilience, but also um, deliver ecosystem resilience. So the way we are doing that is to secure these ecosystems to ensure that we can secure the economy for the livelihoods of many people here. So global conservation is helping us to fund the catch data, to fund the spawning irrigation um, the, um, survey work. We've also dovetailed with con global conservation on the M2 radar because the M2 radar also is very important because well prices have skyrocketed so automatically your cost of enforcement has skyrocketed, your cost of science has, has also risen and so how do we bridge that gap? So we have to use technology so we're looking at a number of technology solutions. What we're helping at Ternafi Atoll in Belize is helping them with using radars and real-time response to interdict illegal fishing and uh, to, uh, really trying to reduce the pressure on the area. They're really wiped out a lot of the fish uh, there when you're diving. You see very small fish, uh, except for a couple places where they've made intensive effort. Now we need to expand that to uh, the entire atoll really regulate the fishing there or eliminate uh, spear fishing is my opinion. Uh, Turnafi Atoll has done a good job building a fleet of boats, a, a, a great group of uh, people patrolling and we're now supporting with technology like Smart, like Earth Ranger and marine radars. Every boat on the planet has a radar, every MPA should have a radar and Turnafi uh, has the first, we're going to put two and three in, uh, cover the entire atoll and allow the rangers to see anyone coming into the no-take areas and immediately respond, uh, arrest if needed, uh, and get them in, on the books um, so that they don't do it again. Global Conservation saw a critical opportunity to deploy their Global Park Defense System for Marine Protection when Belize quadrupled the no-take areas of Ternaf Atoll to ensure overfished grouper, snapper, and other reef fish will survive and thrive. Global Park Defense uses marine radar and smart patrols to identify and track illegal activities inside the marine protected area, incorporating long-range cameras and UAV drones which are activated by the Marine Monitor system. The Marine Monitor works 24-7, day and night, allowing marine wardens to have more more eyes on the water. Integrating smart patrolling, long-range marine radars, satellite communications, and rapid response marine patrolling, global conservation enables TASA to more effectively manage commercial fishing and tourism activities within a 1,400 square kilometer area. Many marine wardens are former fishermen themselves, allowing TASA to build strong trust and communication with the fishing community. Um, I come from a fishing background. My father was a fisher, his father was a fisher before him. Um, one of the things that stood out to me while I was a young child fishing with my father is that he always expressed that every day you have to go farther, you have to dive deeper to make the same money. Coming from a background of being a fisherman, as I was saying earlier, um, working with the fishers for me is not a really huge task. It's really easy for me because 
I'll say about 75 to 80% of them know me from a child growing up. When I could remember when I was a kid growing up and coming out with my father, man, we used to catch fish in Abana. Like two, three days, and you don't want to catch anymore, you need to go. And now, sometimes you're there for days. We could have a brighter future if we all work together. I mean, fishers and conservation, uh, rangers, whatever, we work together, I think we could have a better future in fishing out here in Turnip. Sustainable fishing by Belizeans is a way of life. Without regulation, surveillance, and enforcement, there will be no fish for anyone. TASA has been awarded many honors for their success at showing how a well-managed and protected marine reserve better supports fishing for licensed fishermen. While on patrol with TASA, a packed fishing boat was boarded and inspected, and a warning was given that certain take limits had been exceeded. To protect the long-term viability of Ternef Atoll, no take areas and legal limits must be enforced to stop the collapse of critical fisheries, and to sustain fisheries and the tourism industry for the benefit of Belize and the world. We have to leave a skin patch so that we know um, oh, what, the, species, the proper, what species is, because when once they fillet it, it's hard to tell. Right? We saw very good ecosystem, good, healthy coral reefs and so on, but basically empty of fishes. And then we find out the fishermen with uh, tons of uh, fish, I mean literally uh, several uh, hundred kilos of fishes and lobster in a small boat. Turnaf Atoll's intact mangroves and seagrass habitats are nurseries for crocodiles, lobsters, conchas, and more. Turnaf is home to over 500 fish species, as well as sea turtles, dolphins, seabirds, and manatees. Crocodiles are an important predator and apex species indicating the health of the entire marine ecosystem. Scientists from the Crocodile Research Coalition monitor crocodile nests to ensure that populations are stable. Global conservation is supporting fishing science and baseline population studies on six indicator species including shark, grouper, and grazers. I'm getting out some electrical tape so we can safely keep the crocodile calm by covering its eyes and also being able to not have it open up its mouth. What can we do? The first thing we have to do is what global conservation is doing, identifying the hot spots, the most important areas that are not uh, protected or not well protected, in, especially in developing countries. And on those areas, putting resources for I think basically a couple of things. Protection, better guard the areas that are already being set aside as, as a protected areas. And the second, have baseline studies who chose how the habitat and how the species are recovering or not. And then based on that, taking management decisions. Global conservation is providing the smart patrol system, marine radars, motors and fuel, and technical personnel to succeed in protecting the largest atoll of the Mesoamerican reef for our future generations. 100% of your donation to global conservation goes directly to the parks where we work. Please visit our website and get involved today.